Ya katika swala hilo ni kwamba kwamba kwa janga la ugonjwa wa COVID-19 munchini limewapa wanasayansi nafasi ya kazi wanaofanya kujulikana na kuheshimiwa. Raquel Migaya alipata fursa ya kuzungumza na baadhi ya watafiti wanaofanya kazi katika maabara ya utafiti wa masala ya afya Kembri mjini Kilifi na kutuandalia taarifa ifuatayo. Oh, my name is Agnes Mutiso. Uh, I work in the laboratory. I'm a laboratory technologist. And my key interest is looking at Streptococcus pneumonia, which is a bacteria that causes pneumococcal disease, uh, such as meningitis, causes sepsis, and pneumonia. Kwa miaka kumi sasa, mazingira haya ya mempapumzi Agnes Mutisu mwenye umri wa miaka 32. Mazingira ambayo wanasayansi hao wamejibidiisha kama mchwa aliyao ikizidishwa na uwezekano wa kupata majibu kuhusu maswali mengi yanayosalia kitendawili kwa afya ya binadamu. Uh, in 2011 we introduced a vaccine uh, called PCV10 that is targeting the 10 serotypes of Streptococcus pneumonia. And so there is a publication that we did in 2019 that showed the impact of the vaccine Uh, showing that there was a substantial reduction of disease that is caused by streptococcus pneumonia for the 10 serotypes that are included in the vaccine. Ugonjwa wa COVID-19 ukiwa umepunguza mzigo wa majukumu ya kazi katika sekta nyingi na watu wengi nchini. Kwa Agnes na wenzake kazi yao imeongezeka maradufu. My babies every morning would ask me, "Mommy, why are you going to work? Why, why don't you come? Because sometimes I would get home and they are asleep. And they ask me, "Did you come yesterday?" So I would explain to them, okay, you know mom works in the lab. Yes. So why mom is going to work? Mom is going to test the sample so that we can stop corona and you guys can go back to school. That enabled me to explain to them so that they don't feel like I'm, I'm deserting them or I'm, be, I'm taking their time away. So I remember a couple of times when we could do the runs and then we need to repeat them and then calling home and saying I'm sorry I'm not going to join you for dinner and you could feel the 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 voice of disappointment <laughs> in trying to say it's fine but you can hear it's not a f- it's not fine Dr. Charles Agoti mwenye uzoefu wa miaka 13 akifanya utafiti wa virusi vinavyoathiri uwezo wa kupumua kwa binadamu COVID-19 imefanya kasitisha baadhi ya miradi hiyo kwani vifaa vinavyotumia kufanya utafiti wake vilikosekana baada ya kusitishwa kwa safari za ndege katika baadhi ya mataifa uh, surveillance for instance which uh, make a big part of our research work were interrupted abruptly because uh, hospitals where uh, sick people are supposed to go so that we meet them to collect samples uh, patients were being advised not to go to hospital unless really really necessary. Licha ya hilo ujio wa ugonjwa wa COVID-19 umekuwa baraka kwa kiasi fulani. The experience that I, I have now prepares me for future experiences of a similar pandemic or a similar epidemic that might happen. I, for very long I was a respiratory virus researcher and it never really caught my attention that Uh, I'll need to really work extra hard to give results which are required out there to make decisions real time. So in a way it helped emphasize uh, and remind me of the importance of the work I had been involved for very long. Hii kitokana na hali ya kuwa tafiti wanazofanya hugaramiwa na pesa za mashirika ya nje, serikali ya humu nchini ikichangia asilimia ndogo sana. Msimu wa COVID-19 umebadilisha maisha ya wengi haswa watafiti ambao umetumia muda wao wote kutafuta majibu ya ugonjwa huu lakini kando na hilo ni msimu ambao umeonyesha umuhimu na maana ya kazi yao katika taifa Na kama mwigawai Citizen katika ofisi za Kemri County ya Kilifi